Well, what's happening YouTube? Nmap on Android tutorial 7. So what we're going to do now is just add a few uh, widgets and stuff just to um, display the nodes found on um, the network scan. Okay, so if we go back to the code previously, this is it here. Alright, um, just above this piece of code. Okay, we're going to um, input a scatter layout. I've chosen scatter so the user can move it around uh, wherever they want and obviously uh, readjust it as they like. So if you go to tutorial 7, we have a scatter layout. Okay, um, the positions obviously you can play around with as well. And um, the size hints, the scatter layout is going to house a scroll view. All right, so basically the nodes are going to um, scroll up and down depending on how many there are let's just quickly do this and as you can see I've changed the background as well no I was not under the influence of any illegal substances I promise um, if you don't like the background you can change it so we can scan the network and hopefully they'll pop up in a minute alright so we can move this round and here are the nodes that were found by the nmap scan okay obviously it's up to you guys if you want to put um, like a, a scan started label or just to inform the user that um, the program is actually scanning the network because as you can see if you just press the button um, nothing's actually informing the user at the moment okay so that's all up to you I'm just going to give you the basics and just the foundation and basically the sky's the limit right so let's get back to the code we've got a scroll view we have uh, various size hints position hints and the scroll views housing a box layout I've given the box layout an ID it's called targets and this is actually where all the buttons are going to be uh, manifested okay so let's get down to the actual function itself which will be assigned to the button with the text uh, dash sp because that's the nmap scan that we're using all right so if we come down here now i've, oh, I've commented it as well so um, the code's going to be available in the description and um, it's going to be a lot easier for you to see the differences um, between this tutorial and the next tutorial which we're going to get into some host discovery um, port scanning okay so this is the actual function here now there's another variable up here which I've defined nodes it's going to contain all of our node data that we need for um, the network scan alright so if we come down here so I've got global nodes okay I've got the IP so this is my information I'm going to use this to exclude it from the nmap scan which will um, it will affect the output if we don't do this so I'm I've chosen to do that get my IP so in the actual command here when we're calling nmap we call an SP we call it string um, nmap scan which is the actual command okay um, which we have defined up here if you remember so it's using CIDR notation alright so for example it would be 192.168.10.4 slash 24 right okay now obviously before we call the command we want to clear all the widgets from our box layout alright otherwise they're just going to mount on top of each other and it's going to look um, horrible okay so come down here now all of this code here is just um, formatting the output from nmap so that we can grab what we want we're grabbing the IPs we're grabbing the max and we're assigning the variable or list to the IP mac alright it's a very basic way of doing it um, I'm not going into too much detail 
as I want you guys um, to figure out what you want from the output and what functions to use as well. So down here, we just simply iterate through the variable. So for node in nodes, add the button, okay, to the box layout targets, which as explained up here, as before is defined uh, here, okay? So we're just adding buttons. That's all we're doing. It's as simple as that, all right? And here we adjust um, the height. So obviously the scroll view scrolls. And I've added the comments here to let you guys know that this is the um, seventh tutorial and this is a function that was defined in this tutorial. Let me just recap what we've done here. We take a scatter layout. We um, put a scroll view in there. Within the scroll view, we have a box layout, okay, which has to house all our buttons that are manifested. Okay. We um, iterate through all the nodes and we manifest all the buttons so that the user can use it and it's displayed. So if we build that, run if config. I pretty like this background, I think it's right. It's not bad. But you guys can have it for free, so there we go. Can't complain. So we're scanning the network. And there we are. And it's a scatter layout so the user can move it around and do what they like. So obviously we can scroll view. Now what we're going to do in the next one in tutorial A is basically just uh, wrap it up. Okay, and then I'm just going to leave you to your devices, to your own devices and um, uh, see what you can guys can come up with. Now you're free to use all the code, all the backgrounds and everything I've created for you guys. If I've inspired any of you to uh, make an um, app of yourselves and uh, that's cool. That's great. Okay, so what we're going to do in the next one is when we actually press on one of these buttons, um, I'm actually going to choose what function to do, but it's more than likely going to be a port scan. Okay, which will then display the open ports and services on those particular ports. Okay, so as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding, keep being awesome. See ya.